Hi again, my name is Philip de Toy and I'm presenting another jazz tutorial on the piano, this time on As the Deer. Now this tutorial is a good example of chord extensions. What I mean by that, I use the normal chords in the key of D major. So it's a D major, G major, A major, as well as a E minor, F sharp minor and B minor, but I extend them. So I add a flattened seventh or a two seventh note. I add ninth notes and in some cases 13th notes. So please check them out. I do borrow a few lines here and there in the song from Johan Kim. So I've got a link in the description below. So please check that out. Just one note again, being a little bit of a perfectionist. At some stage, I explain the major seventh interval of a G and instead of playing a G and a F sharp, I for some reason play a F and a F sharp. So just excuse that, but after that I correct the chord. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. Okay, I'm going to start again by playing through the song once. Okay, so let me take you through the song from the start. I start with a D2 or a D add 9, depending on your preference. So a D2, so I'm adding the second note as the D. That's just a normal F sharp minor 7th. That's a F sharp 9, so I have the 7th here as well as the 2nd or the 9th. F sharp ninth on an A sharp going to a B minor ninth so this B minor ninth that's your B minor but it has a seventh as well as a ninth going to a A minor ninth again yeah you have the second or the ninth as well as the seventh, making it an A minor ninth. Then a D9. That's a ninth, and that's the second. The D9 on a F sharp. That's a G major ninth. Now, there are different ways of naming this chord. Some would name it a G9 major 7th or a G major 7th 9. But basically it has the the 7th, the true 7th of in the key of G. So it has got that almost off chord there. So that's your G major 9th. Going to a G9 suspended. So again we have a G9 here. There's the second, there's the seven. But it has got the fourth. So that makes
makes it a G9 suspended. Going to an A13. Just take note again of how I voice this chord. I put the 7th in the left hand. And then the 6th in the right hand there. So that's your A13. It's just a A9 without a third, so I don't play the third. And then going to the D2 again. That's just a G on a D. Then an A on a D. Then I start again. It's again a D2. A2 on a C sharp or a add 9 on a C sharp. And then I have this chord. That's a C9 of which the fifth is flattened. So it's a G9 flat 5 or you could say it's a sharp 11. That would have been the 11th and the sharp 11. So it's either a C9 flat 5 or a C9 sharp 11. And this is a substitution chord. Because we're moving here from a D, note the bass line. So C in the bass. And then going to A. Again a B minor ninth. This is the same, A minor ninth. And this is another substitution chord. It's a G sharp nine. And we're still moving down in the bass. Instead of a D9, I play a G sharp 9 because it's in the bass. It's going to a G major 9th. That's an E minor 9th. That's an E minor 7th on an A. Resolving to an A7 flat 9. And then a D2 again. And then I'm going to that chorus part. That's just a C sharp diminished or a diminished 7th. B minor 7th. And there I have an F sharp 9 augmented. So that's the F sharp, the second, that's the seventh, and there I have the augmented. In other words, it's the fifth or a sharp five, that's the same thing. That's just a, D, a G2, G sharp diminished. And again, note the line here. Starting from there, the, on, the, on the left hand, moving up with a bass, and still moving up. Okay, and there I have a B7, there you have the B7 with a sharp 9. Instead of a 9, that's a sharp 9. This chord I've borrowed from Johan Kim his version of As the Deer, and I will link it in the description below. Going to the G major 9th again. You alone. That's a B9 suspended. The 4th is, is played. Okay, so that's a B7 flat 9 on a D sharp. That's just a normal E minor. Then the D in the bass. And then, then an A9 on a C sharp. There's the A9. And then we have two passing chords here. That's just a C sharp minor. Then a D minor. Okay, going to a C7, so there's your 
C7 with a sharp 9 and a flattened 5. Or, as you know, a flattened 5 fifth can also be a sharp 11. So it's either a C sharp, a C7 sharp 9 flat 5 or a C7 sharp 9 sharp 11. And this chord I've also borrowed from Johann Kim. You can just check in the description below. Then going again to... Oh, sorry. Okay, so there we have again a D major 9th. F sharp minor 7th. That's an F sharp 7 with a flat 9. In the first round, I played just the normal 9th, but here I play the flat 9th. Again, the B minor 9th. A minor 9th. We have again here the G sharp 9 augmented. Going to the G major 9th. then we have a G minor on an E. It's also a kind of G minor 6, but we're playing the 6th in the bass. So it's a G minor on an E. And then almost last one, E minor 7th with a flattened 5th or a sharp 11. So it's an E minor 7 flat 5 on an A resolving to a A7 flat 9 going to a D2 or a D add 9 ending on a major 7th a D major 7th okay hope you enjoyed it